Hi San Antonio and welcome to Park Bench. I'm Michelle Martinez, your host for this episode. It's fall and the weather is so great outside. We have a great show for you, so let's get started. On this episode, we're talking holiday camps, the annual haunted swim and canned food drive, why fall is the best time to plant trees, how to stay fit, and why we need your input at the upcoming SA Park System Plan workshops. Fall is here, and now is the perfect time to plant a tree in San Antonio. Ross Hosea, our city forester, is here to tell us how 13,000 trees are distributed throughout the year through volunteer programs, tree adoptions, and partnerships. In Parks and Recreation, we love trees. We work hard to increase the tree canopy throughout our city. In this coming year, we look to plant or provide to the public over 13,000 trees here in the city of San Antonio. During these next two seasons, we have a number of programs that we're doing to be able to increase the tree canopy here in the city. Uh, one of the programs we'd like to highlight is what we call Green Shade Rebate Program. It allows residents to purchase and plant a tree on their own and then apply for up to a $50 credit per tree that goes against their utility bill. And they're allowed to do up to five of those for the lifetime of that property. Tree adoptions are one of the most popular programs that we have here in the city. We bring out various species of trees that are suited to, to that particular neighborhood. We will probably give out over 6,000 trees this coming year. So in parks, we plant a lot of trees on our properties, and this year alone, we will do over 2,000 trees in our parks. One of the things we like to do is involve the public to be able to assist in that process. And so we have a series of, of volunteer tree planting events that we work through our volunteer coordinators, where we invite the public to come out and um, to participate in that. When people have come out and had a, a vested interest in helping plant the tree, there's a better chance that tree is going to be protected and cared for over time by having the public buy into it. And so it's an awareness for the public to understand how we plant trees. It's a good opportunity to learn the process. All of these programs, the Green Shade Energy Rebate Program, the tree adoptions, and the volunteer tree planting, for more information, they can go to our website, saparksandrec.com. Explore the fun with your San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department at saparksandrec.com and stay connected with us on social media. Registration for Thanksgiving camp is underway. The affordable camp offers a variety of activities and also includes lunch and a snack thanks to the San Antonio Food Bank. Registration is underway for our holiday camps. Uh, we offer camps for Thanksgiving, we do a holiday camp during the Christmas break, we do a spring break camp. Uh, so what we'll be doing is registration uh, online this time. This is our first time doing it online, so check out the website. And we do it in person at the community centers. It's $3 a day per child. Uh, we offer it from 7.30 in the morning till 5.30 in the evening. The kids get a free lunch and a snack. We keep them busy all day. We do art programming, we do science programming, we'll have fitness uh, activities for them. We'll do sports, hopefully they'll be really tired. They'll go home and uh, have dinner and go to sleep for you and we'll keep them uh, active and safe all day. Our Thanksgiving camp activities will focus on the Thanksgiving holidays. We uh, make the turkeys, which is always very uh, popular with the uh, finger paints, and then we'll do uh, turkey relays. We do scooter games where we'll have the kids with uh, different feathers behind them and picking things up. So it's just a fun way to keep them uh, 
focused and active and, and celebrating the holiday while at camp. We've done snow globes, we'll do snow glitter, we've done snowball fights, so the kids, uh, it may not be with snow, but they'll get the concept of it, they'll have fun playing a little dodgeball, but it's like snowball dodgeball. Our camps are for those that uh, you have working parents or a grandparent that works and they need somewhere to take their kids. They can come, they're in a safe atmosphere, we keep them busy all day, we switch activities every hour. It's for six to 14 year olds and it's $3 a day per child. For the dates of our camps and registration information, please visit our website. Explore the fun with your San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department at saparksandrec.com and stay connected with us on social media. Outdoor pools have closed for the year, but you can still enjoy swimming activities at the San Antonio Natatorium. We're here to talk about the upcoming Haunted Swim and Food Drive. Come with me. We definitely had a great summer this year. Um, right now things are winding down, our extended season is coming to an end, and again we're back at it with our special events. Our upcoming special event is going to be our Haunted Evening Swim here at the Natatorium. It's scheduled for Saturday, um, October 21st from um, 6 to 8 p.m. This year is um, our Alice in Wonderland theme. Um, and we're gonna have a lot of activities and swimming for the kids. We're gonna have a costume contest, individual and family. Um, we're gonna have a uh, Mad Hatter's magic show. We're gonna have a uh, Queen of Hearts mini golf and of course our usual haunted house that a lot of people come out for. So we're really excited. We're definitely gonna be giving away treats and lots of swimming. We will be offering our annual food drive for the month of November, uh, the 1st through the 30th. We will be accepting your donations during our hours of regular operation here at the Natatorium Monday through Friday and on Saturdays. We will waive your swim fee, so all our regulars, anybody interested coming out with their families, uh, you can definitely save that money and donate um, any items. All of our donations that we will be collecting will be given to uh, the San Antonio Food Bank. This year we definitely want to meet and exceed our donation amount. We are recruiting lifeguards for our 2018 Tricentennial team. Um, anybody interested in becoming lifeguards, if you're 16 years of age and older, come by, sign up for a class, get certified. Our first class is gonna be in November and we will be offering weekly classes starting in November, the next one's in December, and regular classes all through spring, January through April, and weekly in May. So anybody interested, please come out. If you're not a very good swimmer, we will work with you, um, conditioning, whatever it takes for you to join our team. Explore the fun with your San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department at saparksandrec.com and stay connected with us on social media.
How do you envision your city parks over the next 10 years? Join the conversation and share your input at an upcoming community workshop. Sandy Jenkins is telling us why community feedback is important and how you can get involved. San Antonio Parks and Recreation System Plan is a 10-year plan that basically gives a roadmap of where a park's going in San Antonio. The last time that a system plan was updated was in 2006. 10-year plan means it went from 2006 to 2016, so we're now in 2017 updating the next 10 years. San Antonio Parks have come a long way in the last 10 years. The Creekways are all here, Salado, Leon, Medina, and even some tributaries. So all of that has contributed and is part of that parks plan. And so what the park system plan does is it gives us a general roadmap. Where are parks needed in San Antonio? How is San Antonio growing and how does parks fit in with that growth? Back in 2006, uh, the city was broken up geographically. And so in some areas of San Antonio, there was a desperate need for parks. And so I would say one of the biggest outcomes was the uh, Hardberger Park and now Claus and Steubing's coming. And so those types of parks come because of the system plan and the planning that was done back then saying, here's an area of town where really we need to focus on finding a good park and making something that the residents want to see. It doesn't really go into the detail as to what kind of amenities go into a park. It just broadly talks about the need for parks, the need for investing in parks, and we compare ourselves with other uh, cities throughout the nation. And the Trust for Public Land does a really good job of comparing us with other cities. And so some of those benchmarks are going to be placed into the system plan. Should uh, everyone live within a half mile of a park? That's a good goal to have. And that's something that will be in, in the system plan. The SA Tomorrow plan will um, be our roadmap for our system plan to be able to develop a better level of connectivity. Our greenways are a great example of that. People can now take, a, take their bike and ride to a via bus stop and then take the bus in. And so connectivity is something that really involves with parks as well as growth, as well as recreation, as well as community centers, um, and, and just family activities in general. And so those are the types of goals that will be indicated into the system plan. So we want everybody to get involved into the S San Antonio Parks system plan neighborhood groups, large groups, the YMCA, you name it, we want people to be involved. We're going to be developing some surveys uh, for individuals to fill out online or on paper, uh, both in English and Spanish, and also we're going to have a series of community meetings. October, November, December, and January are going to be our public input. We're going to have many workshops throughout San Antonio, and the first one's going to be October the 12th at the Central Library. The second one's going to be October 24th at Southside Lions Community Center. So you can see that we're going around San Antonio to gain input on what people want to see in a system plan. If someone can't make it to a meeting, it's okay, uh, because we're here to provide information to neighborhood associations, or if you simply want to do it online, go to saparksandrec.com, and it will be on our website. It'll be focused on our website to be able to provide that input. You'll be able to fill out the survey, and then give us just verbally, what do you want to see in your parks? And that information will be put into the system plan. So in addition to the community meetings, the community workshops, we're also going to be having some events. Uh, we'll be doing a movie in the park, we'll be doing some tree giveaways, and keep posted to saparksandrec.com and that information will be posted on the website. The community workshops go through January and then what will happen is that all of that information will be combined together. There will be a draft, again posted on online, and then once the draft is reviewed by the community, city council, it will then go to City Council for adoption. Explore the fun with your San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department at saparksandrec.com and stay connected with us on social media. Hey San Antonio, we heard from our city forester, Ross Hosea, earlier. Now he's demonstrating for us how to plant a tree. Let's check it out. 
The first thing we need to do before we dig any hole is that we have to make sure that we don't have any underground utilities that are going to cause harm to us while we dig. And that can simply be done by calling 811, Texas Call Before You Dig. It's a free call and you have to give them 48 hours notice before you dig your hole, but they will come out and verify that you don't have any utilities that are going to be in the area where you're going to dig. We never want to dig deeper than what the tree is in its current pot. So when I take it out, you see here, we only need to dig a hole that's about that deep. However, we want to go as wide as we possibly can dig. And so for this particular hole, for this small container, I've dug a hole that's about 12 to 18 inches wide. We want to make sure we do have a flat bottom. And whatever soil we took out, we want to leave nearby because we want that soil to go back into that hole. You'll take the tree out, you'll set it down in the hole. The biggest thing we want to do again is checking that depth. And as you can see, that's the depth where we want it level with the native ground. Make sure it's nice and level the way we want it. And then we simply just take our soil and pack it back around it. You can use your foot and lightly pack it. We want to make sure we get it packed as best we can. Uh, and then you can use a water hose or simply a bucket of water like I've done here. And we will slowly pour it over it. And what that will allow it to do um, is to close up any of the air spaces and make sure that we have a good tight um, soil contact around the, the, the root ball that we have there. You can use any kind of mulch, quality mulch, wood produced mulch. And what you're going to do is just put a light layer, no thicker than your hand, about three to four inches. You're going to put a light layer of mulch all the way around the tree. Being mindful not to get too close to the trunk. We want to stay about a hand's width away and we want to stay about a hand thickness of mulch. The purpose of the mulch serves two purposes. One is when you water the tree, it helps cool the soil so it holds moisture in for a much longer period of time. And then secondly, um, it, it helps reduce grass growth that grows up to the tree. The number one enemy to this little planted tree is actually a lawnmower or the weed eater. We can simply take a bucket of water. It doesn't have to be a lot of water. Um, for a small tree like this, probably only need a couple of gallons. For watering recommendations, we recommend uh, for the first month, you'll water three times per week with a small amount of water. For the second month, you'll water two times per week. And for the third month, we'll go down to one time per week. After that, once we get it through the summer growing season, we'll reduce that to just a couple of times a month. And then maybe just down to once a month after about a year or two. And by that time, the tree should be established. We just ask the, the best thing to do is to continue the mulching practice. Um, that always adds nutrients to the tree and again, protects it long term. So with these tips, um, you should be able to get a, a nice long life out of these young trees. Explore the fun with your San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department at saparksandrec.com and stay connected with us on social media. Now you can register for the San Antonio Parks and Recreations programs online and reserve your spot at numerous parks, sports fields, gymnasiums, and community centers. It's quick and easy. We'll show you how. With over 240 parks, hundreds of fitness classes, and a diverse array of programs, there's something for everyone. I want to do that. To register for classes, go to saparksandrec.com and click on the recreation icon. Then click on the View and Register for Classes button. To make a reservation, click on the Parks and Facilities icon at saparksandrec.com and then click on the Start Your Reservation button. It's time to explore the fun! Follow the screens to complete payment for your reservation or registration. Explore San Antonio. Explore saparksandrec.com where you will also find plenty of information about the many free classes and programs as well as parks and facilities offered by San Antonio Parks and Recreation.
Antonio Parks and Recreation Department is on the road with the Mobile Fit. The vehicle features fitness equipment and a kiosk for health screenings. Check it out! A well, Mobile Fit San Antonio is a Mobile Fit van that travels to different locations on upon request to do special events. Uh, we've gone to health fairs, parks, recreation centers, libraries, and when we go, we do free health assessments. We do BMI analysis, uh, we measure body fats, we do hiding weights, and we do blood pressure. Once you do your free health assessment, you have the opportunity to meet with one of our staff members one-on-one -on -one to go over results and see if you need any kind of help on your health. Also, we provide free fitness classes. We do cardio fit, circuit training, a boot camp class, a yoga Zuma class, and it's all free. And we have a mobile fit motion game system for the kids to play with while the parents are giving free health assessments or uh, enjoying their free fitness classes. Since this program started about a few years ago, we have conducted over 9,000 health screenings throughout San Antonio. So it's a great program, a very successful program. If you're interested in reserving their mobile fit van, all you have to do is go to www.saparksandrec.com. Explore the fun with your San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department at saparksandrec.com and stay connected with us on social media. San Antonio residents are more active than ever embracing a healthy lifestyle while enjoying the trails in our parks and along our greenways. The Parks and Recreation Department encourages residents to share the trails by walking, cycling, and running together. All trail users should keep to the right and pass on the left. Stay single file when in groups and approaching others. Be careful negotiating blind turns, stay right, and prepare for oncoming traffic while warning others of any obstacles ahead. Listening to music and enjoying the scenery is fine, but it's important to always remain aware of your surroundings. Cyclists and others on wheels should wear helmets and maintain a safe speed. When stopping, keep to the edge of the trail. People walking pets are asked to make sure leashes aren't a trip or fall hazard for others. Parents of small children should keep them close at hand. In the event of an emergency, call 911. Remember, share the trails, walk, run, and cycle together. The San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department is proud to offer Troops for Fitness, classes led by our veterans. Hear more about the program and the upcoming special event in honor of Veterans Day. Fitness in the Park is a year-round free fitness classes offered at parks and facilities all throughout San Antonio. You don't need to register, all you need to do is look at our schedule, find a class, show up, and come work out with us. Troops for Fitness is a special designation for Fitness in the Park classes led by active duty or veterans of America's Armed Forces. So our Troops for Fitness instructors are both volunteers and staff and agencies and they lead all different types of classes. We have CrossFit, boot camps, trail runs, ruck marches, yoga, and even Zumba. So our Veterans Day workout is going to be on Saturday, November the 11th at Pearsall Park, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. We're going to have classes open for all ages. We'll have CrossFit, Yoga, Boot Camp, and Zumba. The Mobile Fit will be here as well doing some health screenings for anyone that would like it. So come on out, enjoy the workouts, enjoy beautiful Pearsall Park. We have a splash pad, wonderful playground. We'll even be doing some special prize giveaways after the workouts. We hope to see you there. Explore the fun with your San Antonio Parks and Recreation Department at saparksandrec.com and stay connected with us on social media. our show. Thanks for watching. Be sure to explore the fun at saparksandrec.com. See you next time. Thanks for watching, Parkman. See you next time.